Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Betty. This is my channel, The Wildflower Hippie. And I am back on YouTube. Uh, it's been a while. I think it's been a couple of months actually since my last video. I just didn't have a lot of inspiration for a new video. And I also didn't have a lot of time to make something new for YouTube. But I'm back. I'm trying to upload at least once a week from now on. And today I have a book haul for you because in October I bought seven new ebooks and I'm going to share which one I bought. And all of the books I bought in October were romance books, including two Christmas stories, and I'm so excited to read them. Uh, but let's begin. I also have my lots up here so I can give you a short description of each book. Um, so this time I found three new books I want to start. And the first one is Shakespeare Sisters. The first book is called Summer's Release uh, by Carrie Elks. And it's about Jessica Shakespeare, who has hit rock bottom. She lost her crappy job and is about to lose her flat. Then her fairy godfather offers her a stay at the Summer Villa in Italy, which sounds perfect. And then there's this guy, Sam, who is a Hollywood star, I believe, and he just wants to hide and, and be away from the public, I guess. And then he is going also going to the villa and he realizes he is not alone. And honestly, this sounds like the perfect book to read when I'm feeling down because in autumn, in uh, winter, we have a lot of dark days and sometimes you need a little bit of a getaway, I guess. and start dreaming about summer and I think this book will definitely help with that. The next book series I would like to try is Billionaires of Manhattan written by Annika Martin. So the first book is called Most Eligible Billionaire. Uh, it's about Manhattan. It takes place in Manhattan which sounds perfect because I'm obsessed with New York these days and I don't know even why because I've never been to New York so I don't know what it's like. Well, I'm obsessed with it so for some reason. Uh, so this book is about Vicky who walks her neighbor's dog. Apparently the neighbor is very rich um, because when she dies, she has leaves the, her business that is worth of billions to her dog. And she leaves her dog to Vicky. So basically Vicky is rich and the neighbor's son, Henry, doesn't trust her at all and Vicky thinks he is very arrogant. It sounds perfect because that reminds me a little bit of Pride and Prejudice. Um, but I'm very excited to read this and to try it and see if I would like this book series too. And the last book series I would like to try is The Little Bridge Island written by Meg Cabo, Cabo, Cabot. I'm not really sure, um, and, but the book is called No Judgment. So Brie has already escaped one storm, her emotionally abusive ex. Um, so she's not worried at first when she hears a hurricane is coming to the island. But then she realized that there are a lot of animals on the island and she feels that she needs to save them. And she's not going to do it alone, so she accepts the help that the boss, his nephew, who is really sexy, but he is also a heartbreaker. And this sounds perfect because I also love animals. And it sounds just perfect, like little island vibes. I really like that to read about that. The next one is Until I Met You by Amber Rose Gale. So this is about Samantha. It was meant to be the holiday of a lifetime for Samantha, the launch of her travel blog, uh, the, her best friend's wedding, and hopefully her uh, own marriage proposal. But then suddenly she is on her way to Tobago, alone and single. And at the same time, Roman, in, Roman is starting a new life in Tobago, and he does not want any, want any distraction. Um, he just wants to focus on himself and his own goals. And of course, then he meets Samantha, which is the 
distraction that how you wanted to avoid so this sounds really cute and just wholesome basically the next book is the wrong suitcase by laura jane williams Issy is going to italy for the wedding of the year and she couldn't be more excited semi is having a terrible day on the morning of his best friend's wedding and when he opens his suitcase he finds makeup and bikinis and he realizes it is not his own suitcase Izzy, on the other hand opens her suitcase and finds a lot of men clothes so they decide to meet up and switch their suitcases obviously but then also they fall for each other Sounds very romantic, the perfect way to meet your future husband. And um, sounds really exciting, I can't wait to read it. So it is almost November and that means that I'm going to watch more Christmas movie, movies, but I'm also going to read more Christmas books and I'm so excited. It's like my favorite time of the year. So obviously I had to buy two Christmas books and the first one is We Met in December by Rosie Curtis and I think this is going to be my favorite one because it sounds very cool and exciting and romantic so it's about Jess and she's following her dreams and moving to London and she's taking a room in a flat in Notting Hill and she shares it with four others on the first night she meets Alex the guy who is sharing her floor Jess can definitely feel that there is a fire between them and she thinks that they will fall in love and be happy together for the rest of their lives. But when Jess comes back from her Christmas break, she finds out that Alex started dating someone else and she is now facing a year of bumping into the man of her dreams and the woman of his. It sounds like very heartbreaking at first, but I'm guessing there will be a happy ending to this because without it, it wouldn't be a romance book and also not a Christmas book. Um, but yes, I'm very excited. I think this is definitely going to be one of my favorites next month. And the last book I bought, which is also a Christmas book, is 25 Days in December, written by Poppy Alexander. And it's about Kate Potter, who used to be very happy. She was excited to wake up every single day and she was full of life. And she was just happy with her life. And that was until her husband went away with the army and never came back. And she feels lonely, sad, and she does not know how to fix it. But then she meets Daniel. And she tries to get him out of his shell and the more they spend time together the happier Kate is feeling so this also sounds like a heartbreaking Christmas story with probably a happy ending but I'm so excited to get into the Christmas spirits again um, yeah, it's my favorite time of the year so I can't wait to read these books and those were all of the books I bought in October uh, which one was your favorite? Let me know down in below in the comments. Uh, let me also know if you have more recommendations um, because I love to find new books uh, that I will love in the future. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!